A 22-year-old woman from the Netherlands suffered a serious condition in which her skull was getting progressively thicker, which would not only hurt her brain, but also her vision and her ability in general to live a normal life. So surgeons uh, completed a very complicated uh, procedure in which they removed the top of her skull and replaced it with a 3D printed plastic replacement. Yeah, my bonitis! <laughs> Technology my one, at its finest. Is that I had bonitis? <laughs> But that's, um, this regardless of Futurama, this is incredible. This is amazing. I mean, it's just, it just shows you what, when you think about technology, you know, obviously 3D printers came out and corporate America took it over and said, oh, we can make this cool thing and this and that. But no, the, the, you know, the health industry is actually looking at it as a way of saving people's lives. And so I think this is incredible. Not only that, but since her surgery, her vision got better. Mm -hmm. She actually recovered and they have not had a single single instance where her body did not accept the 3D print. Which she's back at work. Back at work. She's living she's a back normal at work. life. This is amazing, amazing technology. Yeah, so I think it shows, uh, just that's just one example of how uh, medical technology can be improved with just 3D printing. Mm -hmm. It looks really cool, because you can see her brain through the clear I plastic. Think it was yes. cool. The article didn't go into what they did after they put the plastic on. Like I would assume that hair or like, did they, skin like, was grafted like, on. Did they mm -hmm. put her skin back up like a hood or just give her a wig and say goodbye they probably I mean I'm pretty sure that they take the layers of skin off and then you know anybody that's on. had brain surgery there are people that have had portions of their skull removed um, you know this this is about the 3d printed skull and it's, uh, if you look at the picture a huge chunk but those people they have a way of removing the skin and getting to the skull and then putting everything back yeah but this isn't just like brain surgery oh, this no. is like the whole Absolutely. top of the, the skull surgery took 23 hours it's crazy very I, long if um, it were me i'd ask if i could keep the skin off um, and just kind of hang out like ray liotta and no, hannibal Tim. just like a oh, visible no. brain oh, there. what's going on no, maybe no. put some leds in there no. this a little daft punk no. anytime a piece of technology comes out you know and i want to and I'm just going to skip back to Oculus Rift in a minute because that was one of the biggest things I was excited about. Of course, it's going to be great for gaming, but also there's there's ways of using something like that in medical field and health fields. And so that's what I love about that is somebody comes up with something that you think is meant for corporate, you think is meant for entertainment, and really this is what we can do with all the technology. It's incredible. It is. Um, we don't actually have the details about uh, what happened with her her skull and her skin and her scalp after the surgery because of obviously privacy issues mm -hmm. But this does open the door for uh, surgeries in the future for people who have debilitating skull problems fractures injuries uh, tumors All even All bones. sure but if you, yeah, if we can think that the skull can be placed something so crucial and vital to life what about other bones? Why not your tibia? Why not your fibia? Knees, baby. Those are the first things to go on everybody. Everybody wants 3D printed knees. That's what I want for Christmas. Okay, put that on your list. <laughs> um, let us know what you think below about the idea of using this special durable plastic in surgery from 3D printing. And please be sure to subscribe.